So building a portfolio on analytics is pretty simple. You just got to click on the portfolio tab initially on the left hand side and then click new portfolio and that will load up that brand new window. Like with most parts of analytics, you're working from left to right. So the data is on the left hand side and you can add whatever you like into a portfolio. There's very little restriction. So on the left hand side, if I wanted to add funds into my portfolio and try to mimic someone's existing investment portfolio, I'll select unit trust and oics from the drop down management group. There's all the investment fund houses. I'll go and select, um, let's say, Allianz Global, and then there's all of their funds load up underneath. And let's say, for example, my client invests in that fund, they invest in that fund, and they invest in that one. Um, worth pointing out, you can search via name. Um, so if my if the name of the fund is relatively, relatively obscure, like Merlin, I could type in buzzwords and enter, and hey presto, Merlin funds appear. Um, and also ISIN code, CEDAW code, city codes, MEX IDs, you can type in all of those and it will find it automatically, saves you a bit of time. Once the portfolio has been created, uh, you can assign a percentage weighting to each holding if you know it. Uh, likely it is you probably won't on a lot of occasions. So you can type in the value of the units. If I'm working on some sort of valuation form, then I'll know they've got this many pounds, pence, um, or dollars, euros in each one of these, and it will automatically work out the percentage breakdown uh, within each one. And then finally, once you've built a portfolio, click on the little save icon, and I can save that as whatever I like, such as Mr. Keith Baker and his uh, pension, and then click on save. So once you've saved the portfolio, get yourself back to the main screen of analytics and underneath your portfolio tab, you'll have a drop down with all of the portfolios you've saved into analytics. There's responsive search at the top, so you don't have to scroll down the list, just start typing in the name of the client and hey presto, there's the portfolio we've just built. And then once you've created a portfolio on analytics, there are a number of reports you can generate off the back of that data relatively quickly. You'll see with every portfolio you add to this active list, you've got a little fact sheet icon to the left-hand side of it. If you click on that link, it loads up what we call a medium scan that goes into fine detail about everything you'd need to know about that portfolio, from the performance of the portfolio, the risk of it, the expense, the underlying holdings, the quartiles, the ratings, the asset allocation, and some nice little charts underneath, of which most of this can be changed. If I don't want to look at bar charts, for example, there are 15 or so different charts underneath that that I can change this to, for example, a volatility chart that changes it on the fly, or actually I can select nothing at all. If I'm going to show this to a client, I might only want to show three charts. I can select none and none and back up to the top, PDF it. Uh, and incidentally, there is a little free form text box. I can type in some notes if need be uh, before I PDF it, maybe like a summary uh, to that client. There are three scans, that's a medium scan. The other reports that you can very quickly create off the back of the portfolio once you've built it is just to the left of that icon, little settings tab. There are three options in here, short, medium, and long. Basically a one page, a two page, and a five page report. Short scans are quite useful. They're basically a one page fact sheet of that portfolio, just looking at the overall position rather than the underlying holdings, looking at the risk, the, the performance, the asset allocation. Uh, and the charges and again makes for a nice little one page fact sheet of that portfolio pdf send it across to the client another report that we'll cover off in more detail in a later tip is the custom portfolio report builder again once you've built and selected a portfolio on the left hand side click on the report tab on the right go down to custom portfolio report builder you can design your own templates under that button there it takes you to a design screen pretty simple to use you dictate the layout of the report how big you want it how many pages what you want it to consist of and then you call it something like a generic name such as gold so in this occasion i'm taking my keith baker portfolio running it against one of my gold templates i can add some bells and whistles if i like on the right hand side before i hit generate and it then loads up the report so this is a version of my gold report. It's about 20 odd pages long. I wanted a cover page with some information on my client with your logo um, on every page. Uh, second page, I wanted some commentary, just detailing portfolio summary, bit of valuation information in there, ATRQ, portfolio review, market commentary. I compiled that myself. And then running on from that, what do I want these reports to focus on? I want it to show some valuations. I want some cost and charges in there. I want the portfolio performance versus benchmark. I want the underlying holdings of that portfolio, color-coded quartiles, I want bar chart information, ratings analysis, scatter charts, I'd like some asset allocation data. There's a diversification report, and then it runs on and shows all of the underlying fund fact sheets of the funds within my portfolio. And the very final page will be a nice little glossary, just detailing some of the terminology we're using within the body of that report.
you need to delete anything on analytics go to the black bar on the left hand side and click on account organization and click on file manager that loads up a housekeeping page that again works from left to right and it automatically loads up your portfolios by default if you want to delete anything other than a portfolio you'll just need to select it down here click on active list for example and take away portfolios and there are all of my active lists and to delete something click on whatever it is you want to delete um, it will highlight it you can delete more than one thing and it will highlight more than one uh, but click on item action at the top click on delete items and it'll automatically delete that from your analytics account hope you found that little tutorial useful as ever any questions feel free to hit that contact us tab on the left hand side and contact our help desk